Come on now, people. I've been telling you for almost two years now, you need to have a GNR TV. And now sports are back. Football is back. Now is the perfect time for you to get this if you don't have it already. And if you look on over here, as I've been telling you before, you get all these amazing channels, every single one of them, for $20 a month for two devices. And if you look on up over here, it's written. It's written everything you get with GNR TV. If you want four devices, $40. And there's some cool extras right here. GNR TV, streaming done right. If you don't have it, get it. What more can I say? What more can I say? It's time to cut the damn cord, stop being ripped off by the dish and cable, and get this lovely thing we call GNR TV. Streaming done right. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Got my guy Horror Gamer with me again. Horror Gamer, what's good, man? What's up? What's going on? Nothing much, just chilling. Again, mm -hmm. we got some dope news that we can't really announce until next Thursday when you guys will actually see it, like, boom. Yeah. But there is something else cool, another cool segment, which I'm glad you're on for this segment. It's the first episode of this segment where I'm going to be doing reviews of horror shorts. And what I'm going to call it, I believe I, my boy said I should call it uh, Scary Tales with Sir Sturdy. And what these scary tales with Sir Sturdy entails is none of my stories, of course. It's going to be mainly independent, independent directors, actresses, actors, all that stuff. Independent directors, let's say. It's a short film, 45 minutes or less. We're going to give our review on it. Plain and simple. And shout out to So Good It's Scary for sending me this movie. And uh, yeah, so sending me this movie and all this stuff. So big shout out to So Good It's Scary. If you don't know who that is, my guy Kyle, he's an indie, what the hell you call it? He's an indie publicist, up and coming indie publicist. So directors, all you guys, indie, hit him up. He'll get you guys interviews on podcasts. He'll, you know, do what he did for me as far as if you're a podcaster, sending you these people to interview, sending you these movies to review, these shorts, films, and all kinds of cool stuff. And it's only going to get bigger and better. So, again, so good it's scary, which I'll leave the email down below in the, you know, in the comment or in the subject line or whatever you want to call it down below. The description, I should say, I'll leave the email for that. I will leave the YouTube link for this movie and the email for that. Boom. So... Yes, definitely, definitely check it out. And, of course, at the end of the video, when this video goes off in one of those four corners, you'll see Horror Gamers channel. But we could dive into this short. We're going to try our best not to spoil this. Now, this is the new thing for me, for the most part. I mean, I've done other movies where I haven't spoiled them because of getting screeners and stuff. So I'm going to try to follow those same rules. And I'm going to start out by saying I love the cinematography for this movie, and I love how it was like a... Um, what the hell do you call those movies, man? Fuck. <sighs> kind of like a found footage film, in a sense. Home video. Maybe maybe more home video-ish, but mm -hmm. more up-to-date equipment, of course. Yeah. And I like it because this is the era we live in. Like This is a generation stuff we live in to where damn near everything's recorded on your phone. You know what I mean? Your phone, something, or a little camera, whatever the case may be to where people are kind of just going around and just recording stuff for vlogs, YouTube, whatever the case may, again, whatever the case may be. I know you do it a lot for your channel. Yeah. I'm going to start doing it more for my channel. Like maybe here and there, when me and my wife go to Spirit Halloween, maybe I'll pull my phone out and walk around the store and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, I, I did like that about this film. I thought it was a fun film. 13 minutes. Not very long. It's one of those ones to where, which I'm going to let you chime in, take over, I should say, in a minute. But it's one of those ones to where I liked where it was going. I just wish that they could have. This is one of those things where I wish it was like a full-length film. And it's yeah. one of those things to where even, even if it wasn't full-length, maybe even like a 45-minute film. But mm -hmm. it's like this comes to us as uh, fans of this kind of stuff where we need to help get these things out of here by – reviewing them by watching them by sharing them yeah. and by backing them when the time comes because these people who do these indie films are so freaking talented mm -hmm. and they do this on a little to no budget pretty much i mean probably a bigger budget than what we do but then again i mean all my equipment and stuff 
I had to cost a pretty penny. So they're probably they're pretty much doing it on the, the budget that we do to you know buy all the stuff we buy as far as like the computer, the mixer, all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. And more or less, it's it's pretty. It's very impressive. It's very impressive, and this is like a fun story. They're going to a girl's cabin that she used to go to as a kid, and I'll let you take over from here, though, man. Yeah, I mean, I agree with you um, that the I love the grittiness of it. Mm-hmm. The grittiness of the filmmaking. I love how it makes you stressed. It, it brings the stress levels up. You know, when you watch this, because you can feel like you're in that predicament. Now, there are a couple parts, me personally, I would fix a little bit, but that's, you know, that's independent filmmaking. They're little things. Yeah. Like, there's a few things with the camera, like you said. I love the found footage aspect of it, um, and I love the fact that it makes you feel like you're there, but there's certain issues with the camera where it was just a little too much shaking. You know what I mean? Like, like it was almost like they were holding the camera at their sides and they were running like this, you know what I mean? And, yeah. But other than that, though, like like I said, the grittiness of it and what you said too, I agree with the fact that it. it I wish is one of those ones where you wish would be made to a full length because they did the best they could with making this story fit in a thirteen minute time slot. But I would love to see the story in like an hour and 30 minute time slot, you know, cause they can get a little deeper into it. They can tell a little more of the story behind, you know, what certain parts happened and why was the reasoning behind it? You know what I mean? And stuff like that. And that's what I was like hoping for. You know what I mean? That's what, like you said, something that could be a full length that way we can get more of the story into it. Like they did a good job. Like I said, they did a damn good job from beginning, middle and end to tell you the the basic story but you know as you know film fans like us we want to we want that little well why did they make this happen or why did this happen you know what i mean exactly i'm with you 100 percent on that like i would love to get to know the characters more yeah in a story like this because there's only a handful of characters in this story so it's like it'd be cool for us to be able to get to know those characters but again like you were saying at the same time it's 13 minutes i mean you got the budget they gave you they gave you like the important stuff as far as like the the stuff that'll keep you attached like the action you know what i mean like they gave you that stuff that's like holy shit what the fuck's going on type of deal and gave you a little bit they gave you a little in the beginning to kind of get to know the characters i mean they introduced them kind of quick but i mean at the same time you can't really spend let's say 15 minutes to get to know each character because it's like 13 minutes long versus if it's an hour film you could spend 10 to 15 minutes to get to know some characters. Yep. And I mean, to the extent of getting to know them throughout the movie as you're getting to know others. So it's not like you're getting to know this guy 10 minutes. Say there's six characters. You're not getting to know 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. You know, the six characters. Then at the hour, getting to know characters. It's like, no, you get to know these characters every few minutes throughout the whole film, but you're getting to know multiple yep. characters at once as the story yep. goes on. Yep. And I feel like that's like my biggest gripe with it. But at the same time, I can't really say that because it's one of those, it's a 13 minute short. So they, they had to do what they had to do. Like they had to mm-hmm. put the stuff in here again. That's going to have you gravitating towards the movie and kind of paying attention to the movie. They didn't yeah. really have time for character development, which I understand and I respect it. It's mm-hmm. just something, it's actually a compliment to this movie by saying we wish it was longer to where you can get to know the story more, get to know. Yeah the background and get to know why it's not like one of these things to where it's like, you know, like it would be bad for like, you know what? This film was too long, 13 minutes, yeah. way too long. They dial up. No, I wish this was longer. I thought mm-hmm. this was an excellent film to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. And again, even if it wasn't like a full hour, hour or hour and a half, hour and 15 minutes, whatever the case may be, I'll say anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour and a half would be great for this. Yeah. yeah. Minutes to an hour and a half. And mm-hmm. I would eat, I wouldn't eat, even what this would also be cool with is if say they did like three or four, three to five shorts that are about 13 minutes a piece. Yeah. It even wouldn't be bad to where, you know, it's kind of like a webisode type of thing where, you know, they drop yeah. something new every couple of week, every week or however often they can, if they already have it all mm-hmm. recorded, I mean, you know, every week, but however yeah. often they can. But again, this was, it was fun. I enjoyed it. It was easy to follow. 
I'll mm. definitely be checking it out again. I'll definitely check this out again, and huh. I'm definitely going to look for this producer again yeah. and like people who are a part of this. And that's another YouTube page I will have down, or I'll have the link. <clears throat> I'll have the actual link for the uh, movie down at the bottom. And then I'll have the actual channel like up in the thing. You know, I'll have my subscribe, Horror Gamers, this YouTube channel, and then one of my other ones that I usually do. Mm -hmm. So, yes, definitely, definitely, definitely check this movie out. Um, you want to jump into ratings for it? I mean, yeah, we can. Um... Indie rating? Oh, uh, let's see. How should we do this? I won't do the whole negative like I do for the bigger movies. <laughs> we'll do okay. One to ten. How many? You know, one to ten. Uh, what do you want to call this one? Something fun. I'll I'll, I'll leave it on you for this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, shoot. Did you say that's a tough one there? Uh, uh, one to ten skull rating. I, I don't know. <laughs> we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. All right. Okay. So, so I'll let you go first. How many skulls? Was, how many skulls would you give this indie film? I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to give it eight. Okay. And the reason I'm going to give it eight is because, like you said, it wasn't long enough. This has potential to be a nine, ten skull thing if it was longer. You know what I mean? If they were able to make it longer. Mm -hmm. And like you said, it's not an insult. This is actually us praising them that it was so good that it felt a lot shorter than what it was. You know what I mean? And it makes us want more. Like, I will be straight up, straight forward with you. With all the crap that Hollywood has put out this year, oh, this sure. this right here is a breath of fresh air. That's what I'm saying. Indy is where it's at. You know what I'm saying? Because this was, we all, all right, we all know how much your boy Horror Gamer loved Fantasy Island. Okay? The greatest, it, no, I hated the movie. Okay? <laughs> that movie was garbage. This was better than Fantasy Island. Fantasy Island was an hour and a half of Snorfest. This was 13 minutes of I want more. You know what I mean? So, kudos. I'm going to give you eight. Okay, okay. I see your eight. And I'm going to go with a 7.5. And basically all the reasons you said, like the main thing was, which isn't a bad thing and isn't a slight to it, but I just wish it was a longer movie. I wish it was a full-length okay. film. Or at the very least, 45 minutes again, but they did an excellent, excellent job with this. Mm -hmm. I definitely want to see more from them. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to give it a seven and a half. And you're absolutely right about it. Hollywood puts out a lot of trash. A lot. Yeah. We'll watch it, though. Of course we're going to watch it. But I oh, feel yeah. like a lot of times they put it out rushed just because they know sticking to the horror genre, like these guys are going to eat it up. These guys are going to watch it anyway. So let's just throw something out there. Nope. I'm not going to say every single time because I'm sure there is times where they really do. I'm not going to say they don't try, but it's just like, mm -hmm. listen to the yeah. fans more when it comes to this. I'm just speaking of this genre specifically. And I say mm -hmm. that because like with Marvel, I feel like they listen to their fans as far as their movies go. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know Stan Lee had a big hand in those movies, God rest his soul. But yeah. I feel with horror, listen to the fans. Maybe even reach out to some of these indie indie artists because they they do some amazing freaking work. Amazing work. Mm -hmm. And they just don't have the budget Hollywood has, which can be good and bad because I feel... And the reason I say it can be good and bad, the bad is obviously you don't have that huge budget to where you can spend whatever to do whatever. That's the bad. The good, mm -hmm. you don't have all that money to spend whatever to do whatever, so you have to be more creative as far mm -hmm. as the story goes and as far as just the way you do things with your camera work and everything else, it's like you learn a lot more because you're coming from the mm -hmm. dirt, so to speak. But still, I, w I would love to see people like this that did this get that opportunity. Mm -hmm. And real quick, I just want to mention the names because I see the credits are right in front of me. Now, people, I'm going to tell you right now, <laughs> a lot of these last names I will probably pronounce wrong and I apologize for that. Please don't be offended. Please don't be offended because I don't mean any offense by that. There's one name that I know I'll get right because it's the same last name as mine. <laughs> Other than that, <laughs> I don't know. So it says starring Haley M-A-R-M-O-L-E-J-O. 
<laughs> Haley Mar Marleggio Marleo. I don't know. I really don't know because the the M the that last name could be sp- Spanish, and I forgot how they pronounce J's. So mm-hmm. again, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now this one's gonna be easy for me because my last name Bonnie Sturdivant. So shout out to you guys, David E Meyer E I M I R E E Meyer, and Thomas Burke. You guys did a great job, an amazing job. I love to see more work from you guys. And yes, again, like I said, all the links will be down below, which will be the actual link for this movie. They're so good. It's scary email. And then, you know, the links at the YouTube thing at the end, the credits and all that good stuff. You know what I'm talking about people, but yeah. So thank you for watching this video. Hit that subscribe button. Don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button and don't be afraid to hit that notification button because when you hit that notification button, you'll hear, you know, you get to see this guy, Sir Sturdy, and whoever is on the other side of the camera, unless it's a video by myself. But yes, definitely check that out. Really quick, uh, well, I'll finish my plugs and I'll let you do yours, actually. Horror Sir Sturdy on Facebook. I have a Facebook group. Go on there. Feel free to share anything and everything horror related. Join the conversations, even your own projects as well. Horror, fa- horror with Sir Sturdy Facebook page is strictly for the podcast. I drop my podcast content on there. I drop some videos on there. I drop my random videos, like something like this. And my second videos, I'll say something like this. will be going on the page and in the group, but all my podcast stuff will go strictly on the page. Um, I have a Twitch, horror underscore with underscore sir underscore sturdy. My YouTube channel, horror with sir sturdy. Again, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit that notification button. So once I drop something, you'll be notified first. And you get to hear it before and see it before everybody else who is not notified. Yeah, they're lost. What else? Uh, shoot me an email, horrorwithsir.sturdy. Again, that's horrorwithsir.sturdy at gmail.com. And that's for anybody and everybody who wants to be a guest on here to review a movie, talk some horror, maybe do a horror interview, whatever the case may be. Shoot me an email, horrorwithsir.sturdy at gmail.com. Anybody listen to podcasts, Spotify. Again, like I always say, Joe Button's leaving, but I'm not iTunes, Google Play, Podbean, everywhere else sprinkled in. You can listen to the podcast. Thank you guys for listening. Now, Horror Gamer, let them know they can find you, man. All right. So you can definitely find me on Instagram, Horror Gamer. The O's are actually zeros and the E's are three. So it's H-0-R-R-0-R-G-A-M-3-R. Um, I got a, a Twitter account at Horror Gamer. Um and the Horror Gamer official YouTube, where your boy Horror Gamer throws up daily videos, whether it has to do with, you know, unboxings or anything like that. So if you want to get your fix in on that, don't be afraid to go there, check it out. And like uh, Mr. Sir Sturdy over here said, hit that subscribe button along with that dingly ding ding button. That way, every time we throw up something, you're always in the know. And thank you guys so much. And I love every one of y'all. I'm going to reflect on what he said. Yes, thank you guys so much for the support. Love all you guys. Please keep it coming. We'll keep all this dope content coming. And I will. here's what I will say. Here's one teaser I will say for you guys. And this will be it. Be prepared to see me and Horror Gamer working together a lot more in the near future, along with some other awesome people. Did I give him too much? I think you just gave them just enough. I think just enough to wet the palate. There you go. <laughs> well, as <laughs> always, thank you again for coming on, man. I know we're about to do something else in a minute. But as always, I'll see you 